Antibody purification is simple with high trap protein A and G antibody purification columns, making it easy to purify polyclonal, monoclonal and genetically engineered antibodies from samples such as serum, ascites and cell culture. Mike, you are going to focus on optimizing antibody purification with the high trap protein A and G formats, right? Yes. High trap protein AHP and high trap protein GHB columns are simple to use, easy to scale up and will simplify your antibody purification. There are three principal types of antibody. Polyclonal, raised in various species such as rabbits. Monoclonal, originally involving human myeloma and mouse spleen cells. Today, monoclonal antibodies are not usually made this way. Lucky mice! And genetically engineered antibodies. Okay, Mike's first tip. It is straightforward to decide when to use protein G or protein A. As long as your antibody has the FC region, protein A and G can be used for purification. If there is no FC region, then an epitope tag is needed, but I'm not going to deal with that in this video. Protein G is the first choice for general purpose capture of antibodies because it binds together a broader range of IgG from eukaryotic species and more subclasses of IgG than protein A, usually with a greater efficiency. Protein A, on the other hand, has a much narrower range of applicability. However, with some subclasses of IgG, it can bind better than protein G. And if you know your IgG, then protein A may be a better choice. Remember that binding strength depends on the source species and the immunoglobulin subclass. Check out the protein A and G applicability table in the handbook and the instruction manual. Mike's second tip, choosing the right format for the job. High trap protein AHP and high trap protein GHP are ideal columns for lab scale purification and are designed to give maximum purity and yield. They are supplied in both 1 mil and 5 mil column formats. Scale up is easy. Just stack two or more columns together. Just like that. This very flexible and convenient format can be used with a syringe, a simple pump or a system. You choose. Remember, only purify identical samples in the same column. Different samples result in cross-contamination. Not good. Also supplies a range of different formats for antibody screening, including multi-well plates, spin columns and magnetic beads. Tip number three, protect acid labile antibodies with TRIS buffer. It is important to remember that although protein A and G bind antibodies with a strong affinity at neutral pH, they can bind over a wide pH range. In order to elute the bound antibodies, a decrease in pH is required. This will vary depending on the species, and at low pH, acid labile proteins may be at risk. Avoid the problem by collecting your antibody into tubes containing one molar Tris HCl at pH 9. The final pH of your eluted antibody will now be around neutral, and your precious antibody will be safe. Alternatively, neutralize the pH with buffer exchange immediately after elution, using pre-packed Cephidex columns. Mike's tip number four when to use a gel filtration step to get optimal homogeneity. One step purification with protein A or G usually gives high purity antibody. To improve homogeneity, you should think about using a gel filtration polishing step, for example, with a Superdex 200 column. This is really useful for separating monomers from dimers and removing large aggregates. The final top tip, Look in the antibody purification handbook. Everything you wanted to know about purifying antibodies. But we're too afraid to ask. 
You will move quickly to the next step in your workflow by following Mike's tips and tricks. To get all the details, remember to look in the Antibody Purification Handbook 